I trained in internal medicine, which is much about taking care of adults when something goes wrong. And then I trained in preventive medicine, public health, because I really wanted to help healthy people stay well. And right around the time I finished my second residency in preventive medicine, a paper came out called Actual Causes of Death in the United States in the Journal of the American Medical Association, and it identified the underlying root causes of the things that cause premature death, and those are overwhelmingly lifestyle practices. In particular, eating an optimal diet, getting routine physical activity, avoiding toxins like tobacco. At the time, the discipline of lifestyle medicine didn't yet exist. It, it came into existence later. But essentially what we've discovered over the years is that the most powerful of all medicine for adding years to life and life to years is lifestyle practices. So if we can help promote access to healthy living, we transform the human condition. And the most beautiful example of the full potential of this is the world's blue zones, characterized by National Geographic and Dan Buettner. And these are places around the world, five distinct populations where people routinely live to be 100 years old or more, don't succumb to chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, dementia, hang on to their cognitive faculties until the very end, and die peacefully in their sleep at the end of all that good living. And I, I really love the notion that if we could essentially democratize access to healthy living, we would also democratize access to these blue zone blessings. And I think most people living in modern societies don't even really have a clear sense of, of what the promise of true vitality and longevity would feel like. But we can get there from here. Because it's hard to get there from here, the, the, the reason people have these blessings in the blue zones is not because individuals work really hard or have more willpower than we do. It's because they live in places where culture carries them toward health rather than away from it. And sadly, we've got a very different situation. It's hard to eat good food here because there's so much junk where food ought to be. It's hard to be physically active here because there's so much technology and hectic schedules where recreational active time ought to be. It's hard to sleep enough here because we're all stressed out. It's hard to manage stress here because we're all stressed out and not getting enough sleep. And on and on it goes. So here, in the modern world, if we want access to the Blue Zone blessings, yes, we have to emphasize lifestyle. But I think we also have to devise new ways at the cutting edge of science to catalyze the transition, to help people get there from here. One of the reasons I'm so enthusiastic about True Niagen is it's an example of that, a way to biohack a key metabolic pathway that directly relates to both longevity and vitality and energy generation in every cell of the body. And no, it's not a substitute for healthy living, but it can help people derive more energy, which in turn can be used to help them pursue the greater array of benefits that come from healthy living. So I think it really does play a very important role.